What's going on, everyone? Good to be here. Listen, let me start off with a little bit of uh, of love for you, for anyone that ends up uh, listening in. I believe that sales is one of the noblest professions on the face of the planet. Because without you, what happens, right? You're the ones that are going out there, closing deals, making it happen. You're helping people to find out about solutions. You're helping people solve problems in their business and in their lives. You are the ones that are, you know, if it wasn't for you, um, money wouldn't be changing hands. Mortgages wouldn't be getting paid. You know, cars wouldn't be getting sold. There's so many things, right, that depend on the salesperson. And if you can receive it, it is the noblest of all causes. So I'm happy to be with you today. My name is Donnie Tuttle, and uh, I am I'm a recovering um, I would say a recovering salesman turned sales pro. And, uh, and and the difference is is that when you are someone who is selling, you're just kind of doing something because it's a job. You're doing what you have to do to get by. You're doing like what the Gloria Gaynor song said, I will survive. But I, I, I know that when we become professionals, that's where we start to thrive. Right. So if you're, if you are, if you have an occupation, it's one thing to step into it as a professional saying like, I'm going to do the things that I profess. That is what's going to make all the difference. Um, by the way, I will be giving out um, free copies of my book for those people who uh, are readers and want to uh, learn so they can earn. Definitely would love to uh, send one of these out your way. So be stay tuned for that. Gloria Gaynor, I will survive. Donnie Tuttle, I will thrive. So we're going to go from surviving to thriving today. And the way that we're going to do that is I'm going to help you with a, a practice that not only elevated my career, I've, I've worked with some so many people who have done only this practice and they sell easily five times more than the next person with them. It is the most fun way to sell. And it is the most profitable way to sell. And it is the fastest way to sell. And that is with referrals. Referrals. Um, before we get into it, though, I want to tell you a story that happened in my life. I remember I remember getting hired on uh, with a coaching company. And, um, and you know, as the sales professional, I thought, I said, hey, listen, you're going to love me because I love cold calling. I'm the, I've done more than 100,000 cold calls. I, I'm like, you're going to love that about me. And they said, well, never forget Kitty Barrow saying to me, well, that's great, but we believe cold calling is God's punishment for people who don't have enough referrals. And I said, what? Stop the press. Are you, what, are you, what are you saying here? Well, we believe that the leads that close the fastest, the best, like all of the things I just said, is referrals. And what ended up happening was I stopped everything I was doing, and I, and I dedicated myself to learning what I'm about to share with you. And I've got to tell you, that commitment took a belief on my part because it was uncomfortable. I found that I was actually more comfortable selling to strangers and getting rejected by strangers than I was from people I've sold to or people who are my friends. And I had to overcome certain obstacles. And I will tell you that it took me 50 attempts of sucking at what I'm about to show you. 50 attempts. On attempt number 51, I got five referrals. Red carpet, people who are ready to meet me, referrals. And then it was 12, and then it was three, then it was 20. And it's almost like, as soon as they like they came in bunches and since then anytime i ever want to create business for myself i just shake the referral tree so if you are ready to rock and roll i'm going to show you exactly how to do it how you can do it how you can add it to any business and um and just some really 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 simple scripts that you can begin to apply right now, um, before we do that, though, I want to get just a real quick review for some of you guys who were not here last week. Um, I introduced the idea of sales as an act of love. 
And where I want to take that into at this point is to say that when you have brought someone on, who's first off, who's the easiest person to sell? What's the easiest business to get? It's the business you've already got, right? And so champions, and a champion is not someone who just wins. A champion is someone who is going to go to war for you. And I believe if we show up in a way that we are we're, we are making sales as an act of love, what's going to happen is you're going to create people that want to go to war for you. Now, for me, of course, um, this is I, I learned it as we were journeying around America for two years. That's that's my eight children. I think all of them are there, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that's all of us. Uh, we're at the gum wall in Seattle at this point in the middle of our two-year travel where we were intentionally homeless. My wife hates it when I say that. But um, I had to learn how to resell over again. And a big part of it, a big key was, well, there were two parts. Number one, becoming, um, becoming myself. We talked about that last week. I would say creating curiosity in others. And the biggest one was what I'm going to share with you today. It is getting referrals. So I am going to ask you guys um, right now, just before we start, because we're going to, we're going to interact this way. And you know what? I'm going to, let me put it up here. My number for you guys is uh, I'm just going to ask you to text me your favorite emoji in your name. And this is how we're going to interact today, right? We're just gonna have fun. This is participatory. Last week, you know, I uh, couldn't tell if you're listening or not. Honestly, I think some of you guys are just, you know, doing other things. Maybe you're on YouTube. I don't know. Maybe you're making sales calls. Maybe you're getting the boss off your back. But that is my number. And just really quickly, text me your name and your favorite emoji. And let's see what we got. I won't, I won't tell everyone what it is. So, um, or at least I won't mention it by name. So right now I'm waiting for some text messages to roll in. The bus is stopped here. It won't go any farther. I'm activated by your participation. Uh, some of you guys, I can tell you're having to filter out some things that you, you don't want us to know about you. That's okay. It's okay if it's a poop emoji. It's okay. Right? Okay. I've got a burrito. The first one in is a, no, it's an avocado. I'm sorry. There we go. An avocado uh, comes in first place, laughing until I'm crying, comes in second. Good. Okay. Well, that, 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 that gets us to the next stop. All right. I will be asking for answers in here. Please, 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 please um, have fun with me. If, if you're not having fun, I'm not going to have fun. All right. Oh, the dope. Okay. All right. <laughs> Love it. Love it. So here we go. Let me get rid of my number. Clear it all, and we're going to move on. Here we go. I might close this thing. Uh, before we begin, guys, this is uh, we don't learn until we until we're honest with ourselves. So I'm going to ask you to drink your truth serum. So whatever drink you got in front of you, I want you to open it up, and let's let's only tell truth. Only tell truth here. This is for you. If you don't want to share parts of these, you can message me independently. That's fine. As a matter of fact, we can just do it on the phone. So again, like I don't have to, I'm not going to call you out on any of this stuff, but it is about you being honest. So we got the, we got the truth serum. I want to know this right now. How many times have you asked for a referral in the last two weeks? How many times have you asked for a referral in the last two weeks? And if you're like me before I was taught this, by the way, it would have been zero, 0.0. 0. How many times have you asked for a referral the past two weeks? Okay. Yep. Okay. Four. Well, that's a that's above average. It's above what I see typically. Good. Okay. How many? How many times? And and the idea is, guys, is that you are you're professionals at a couple of things. We have to be professionals at sometimes interrupting, right? We're professional interrupters. Sometimes we are professional connectors. I think connecting is always a good thing. And we're always going to, we have to become two maybe, okay? We have to become professionals at creating offerings, like offering opportunities to interact. And one of the ways is it, is it 
asking for referrals. So I'm going to I'm going to get rid of some of the things that we might have going on our minds and um but I need to know this like and this is just for you. I'm not going to ask you don't text the answer here. How many times did you receive a referral in the last 2 weeks? How many did you receive? Okay? How many referrals did you receive in the last couple of weeks? The reason that I love going here and the reason I love playing here is because salespeople who actively seek out and exploit referrals, as we've said earlier, right? They earn four to five times more than those who don't. Uh, statistically, referrals close 2.5 times faster and they're worth like three times more. I don't have the statistic of what they're worth, but it is, it's a big, it's a big number. It's a big number. I love it. Love seeing the the texts come in here. Um, I want to ask you guys, uh, and you can drop this in the chat or text. You can put it in either place. Doesn't matter. Text only goes to me. Chat's all in front of all of us. What do you think is the reason why we don't get referrals? What are the top reasons? Let's see if you guys, I'm sure you know some of them. Top reasons people don't get referrals. Top reasons. Top reasons we don't get referrals. Um, if you said these answers, this is what I find. Now, I've, I have asked hundreds. Some of this is informal. Some of this is, but I've, I've asked hundreds of people the answers to these questions. And here's what I find. I find, and we do not ask. Number one reason, we don't ask, right? Why don't we ask? Well, some of us, we don't have the confidence. Maybe sometimes we've asked, but it didn't, like, it didn't go well. And so we don't know how to ask. Some of us, it just feels weird, right? Here's another one. Did you know that even using the word referral will mess up a referral? Don't use it. It makes people feel weird. I don't know. I don't know where it happened, but I know once upon a time, I, maybe it's um, network marketers, took the term over and it's just it just feels a little... So we don't use the word referral. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, some people actually give money. Hey, I'll give you $10 for every referral you send in my way. Hey, I'll buy you a cup of coffee. I will give you this product for every referral. And, and what's happening is, is you're actually trading out this for that. And what I'm giving to you is never going to be as valuable to you as what you're going to give to me. Because when you're getting a connection from someone, think about it. That person is like, like, that's your friend. You're going to sell your friend out for 10 bucks or a Starbucks card or whatever? Probably not. So stop trying to buy referrals. You don't have to anyway. The other one is, is that we don't know the psychology. It goes poorly and we just give up, right? I want to know for you, and I just want you to evaluate for you. And if you feel like it, you can, you don't have to, but if you want me to know, you can tell me which of those is it for you, or if it's something else, just you, you just type a number if you want to. But if it's something else, what is it? All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and go on. I want to get into some of the good stuff. This is not a good tactic, but you can try it. If anyone tries this, I'll give you bonus points. You know, for every referral you send to us, a, a turtle smiles. Mark. <laughs> Doesn't work. Here are the keys, y'all. Here are the keys. Well, before I get to the keys, let me tell you about this is Ben Cooper, a company called Amplify Business. He's a um it's a it's a fractional CFO uh position. And what Ben did was he 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 actually brought me on as a sales coach with him. And before he even had a a, a business, he did this. What happened was uh, he was able to get to over $300,000 of personal income within four months, and he never made a cold call. So um, what I'm telling you works. He's one of dozens and dozens of, of uh, you know stories I could tell you that are like this. But here, here are the keys right here. Mindset, buying atmosphere, memory joggers, and what I would call golden nuggets. So those are the things I'm going to teach you. You guys can feel free to snap pictures of any of this stuff. It is uh, 
part of the secret of life here. Let's start out with mindset. Okay. When we're talking about mindset, mindset is what you're saying to yourself about yourself. Right. And last week we covered identity because like, again, that first thing that we, the first person has to be sold is who? It's this person, right? And people aren't just buying your product. They're buying you. It's what you say to yourself about yourself. That's why you have to love yourself while you're doing this thing. And if you don't, then I would say either find another profession or find a way to do it as yourself, right? Are you funny? Be funny. Are you happy? Be happy. Are you a nerd? Be a nerd. Be like release that inner beast and you have to do it as yourself. That's, that's the idea. The truth is, is that's where we get our confidence and confidence, I believe, is the language that people understand. That's why a dog knows that you're scared. I just don't be scared. <laughs> Thanks. Confidence is something that is a, it's a language that people understand. And I believe our words are window dressing. So we're going to do a little bit of a, um, a poll here. I know we've only got a few of us on here. But, um, you know, confidence check as it pertains to asking for referrals. Because, you know, we can all be confident. But you don't have to be old dude in the gym changing room confident. If you're a guy and you've been into a gym... You get it? If not, sorry. It's just a, it's a really crude reference. But here's what I'm going to ask you right now is I'm just going to ask you for your confidence, right? Rate your referral confidence. One to 10. One is like low and 10 is a uh, guy in the gym. Give me your self rating. It's just confidence. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, by the way, I, I do have someone that's uh, like, I, I love, I, I saw someone saying, hey, I've had people say, hey, I shouldn't have to ask. People should just give them to me. And boy, oh boy, I want to, hopefully I can, I can fix that. People will not give you things willy nilly. So we've got your, got your confidence rating. And my question is, is if we could get that up to around a nine or a 10, what do you think would happen? What do you think would happen? I believe this, guys. I believe that your confidence actually what informs uh, other, like your your language. It's what informs all of the other parts of this. I'm going to start with something that actually is, this is like a confidence. This is, by the way, this is also great for the beginning of any sale because getting a referral is a sale. It's called creating a buying atmosphere. Okay. A buying atmosphere. And a buying atmosphere sounds like this. Say, if someone's not going to, hey, listen, this, you may or may not know someone who can help me out. And either way, I just want to let you know, that's okay. It's no big deal. That's okay. It's no big deal. Well, Donnie, I just don't know anyone that can help you out right now. That's okay. It's no big deal. Well, Donnie, I just don't think that you're, you're someone who's going to, you know, the right fit for us right now. That's okay. It's no big deal. Okay. We got the buying atmosphere. The next one is, Never say referral. What do we say instead? Who do you know? Who do you know? And by the way, don't even say, do you know anyone? Because do you know anyone is easily answered. What are people going to say when you say, do you know anyone? They're going to say, no. But if you say, who do you know? You can also say things like, who can you connect me with? But we want to know, who, who do you know? We'll talk about memory joggers because people, they want to help you, but I promise you, they don't know. Um, they, they just don't know. You're talking to me about, um, I don't know. I don't know what you sell. So like um, someone, someone pop into the chat or, or yeah, pop into the chat. What it is that you sell? I want to know. I just want to play like I'm you for a second. Somebody, anybody. Come on, come on, come on. Bus is stopped. We're waiting. You can pop it into the text, text or the chat. I sell uh, floor covering. Text or chat, either one. Someone tell me what hey, it Donnie. is that you sell. Come on. I'm not going to call you out. You're not going to have to sell me. You're not hey. going to sell me a pen. I'm just going to act like you for a moment. It Thank you. It sounds somebody. like he's not Industrial able to. Industrial gas. Cool. Industrial gas. 
So let's just imagine that you sold someone industrial gas. Maybe they're like they're they're a they're a current existing client, or you just talk to them about it and and they love you, you love them, right? You're happy together, industrial products, you're happy together. There's and when you say, Hey, who do you know that I should be, you know, I should be connected with? Who who can you connect me with? When we say things like that, do they want to help you? They do want to help you because they love you, they've done business with you. They're not thinking about that. They're thinking about industrial products right now. So we have to give them a memory jogger. All right, here's an example. You weren't thinking of this person five seconds ago, but I'm gonna ask you, um, who do you know from high school that was like the craziest, funniest person in your class? Who do you know? Or maybe who do you know from maybe let's just like in, in, um, in any, any time you've been in any school, like the, the, the best looking person that you can remember, who do you know? And I will guarantee that within 10 seconds, I made you think of someone, right? Because what we're doing is we're giving someone a memory jogger because the brain is like, we're like one track, we're one track, we got our blinders on. And what we have to do is we have to actually bring them into the grocery aisle of their mind so that they can walk down and say, oh, wait, I do know this person. And I do know that person. And what we're going to do is we're, we're not going to say, who do you know that needs industrial gas or industrial products? We're going to ask for who do you know that runs a company like this? Who do you know that thinks like we think? Who do you know that has a business in town? Who do you know, right? Don't ask who do you know that needs this because they're gonna start shopping for them and that's like, okay. But who do you know? That is called a memory jogger, okay? And all of these things take a little bit of time. Like I, I know I just, it sounds simple, but sometimes it takes courage to actually ask because most of us say, hey, who do you know that can, you know, can help me out? And most, people, most of the time, people are going to say, I don't know anyone. And we have to say, that's okay. It's no big deal. I mean, who do you know that owns a company down the road? Or who else do you know from maybe a maybe church or from a, from a meeting that you went to recently, right? From the Lions Club or whatever. So we bring them into places where they are. The next thing that I'm going to ask you is I'm going to ask you, um, what do you admire about that person? What do you admire about that person? What do you admire about them? I wonder if anyone can tell me why I would ask you what you admire about the person you want that you said I should connect with. Why would I ever ask that? Because eventually I have to pick up the phone and call that person or I have to walk in their door and talk to that person. And the best way that you can actually um, utilize and leverage the power of a referral is to talk about what you have in common. Well, what's the one thing you have in common? It's the person who referred you to them, right? So if I say, what do you admire about Bob? You could tell me, oh, Bob is, you know, Bob's great at business. He's smart. He's, you know, he just, he just gets stuff done. You tell me that you admire that about Bob. And, and um, I, I might even press a little bit farther. How long have you known Bob? Like what's something crazy about Bob, right? So I, I go through like, well, I always beat him when we go fishing or golfing. All right, so, I, okay, cool. I've got that. And now whenever I'm picking up the call, Bob, right? Hey, Bob, Bob, hey, it's Donnie, Donnie Tuttle. Did, did Mark tell you I was gonna be giving you a call? Mark Taylor, he did. Yeah, okay, well, that's awesome. Well, Mark tells me that you're awesome at business, but he also says, you know, he's, you know, so, you know, he referred you to me. I, I said, who's the best business person you know? He said, it's you. Um, said you're great with family, but he said he beats you at fishing every time. Am I talking to the right Mark Taylor? I mean, am I talking to the right Bob? So what we're doing is we're creating conversation. And then I would say, great. How long have you known Mark? Oh, that's great. And we talk like, so it gives us a beginning point before we say the reason for my call is. So it, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a beginning point of conversation. I love getting this. And by the way, even if Bob doesn't do business with me, I got to like, I got to share some love. And so that's a win-win, right? When, even when you don't get business from a referral, you still get to brighten up their day. All right. I'm going to go through a couple of scripts that can help you literally right now. So hopefully, um, hopefully some light bulbs are going off for you. 
Okay. And, and I will tell you there, there's, um, it's interesting. There's one referral partner that I've done business with that. I think, I think the amount of actual money in my bank from this guy is over $400,000 now, just from like people he keeps referring. Like people, people want to help you because they like you. People want to refer people to you because you're awesome. Right. You got to keep your promise. You got to be, you know, you got to show up as a, as an act of love and, I promise you they'll want to give you referrals. But let's go through a few of these scripts. Let's go through a couple. Um, if you have current clients, here's one you can literally do right now. I'm going to give you the outline. You ready? Snap a picture of this. Like literally do this today. Try this five times a day and see if you don't get a referral. Right? It goes like this. Ring, ring. Hi, Bob. Bob, hey, it's Donnie. Uh, Donnie Tuttle. Hey, man, um, I've I've been thinking about you. And uh, man, I just, just had a couple quick questions for you. Or you, you got a second? Great. Been thinking about you. Um, Bob, Just I'm just curious, man. Um, industrial products, I know you can get them from anywhere. Um, you've been you've been with me for a little while. I just want to know, how am I doing for you, man? Like what what is how how am I doing for you? Am I doing okay? Well, yeah, you're doing great. Well, awesome. Any anything in particular that you would say is you know is, is better about me or better about what we've been doing or anything that's been really making this thing work well, right? You see where I'm going? With this right? They're giving you a compliment. Yeah. Am I fishing for it a little bit? Yeah. But also, like this is something that's going to be a part of your success later on. Um, awesome, Bob. Well, I appreciate that, man. Um, question for you: If I ever find anyone in, in the same spot as kind of like what you were saying, they, they you said that um that we're cheaper and faster. Like if I ever find someone that's doubting whether or not we can be fast or cheap, do you mind if I share your story? Is that okay with you? Right. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to have them call you or, you know, sometimes people will say, yeah, have them call me. Great. Awesome. Well, Bob, I, I appreciate you, man. Um, here's a deal, man. Keep me in your pocket. I don't want to just be your, you know, like, like I know you got my card, but put me in your pocket. Put me as a industrial supplies guy, Donnie, industrial supplies. You got me, in your, you know, like you got me in your cell phone plugged in. Awesome. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate you. Uh, by the way, before I go, is there anyone else that maybe is around you? It's up the road from you. It's in the same industry or maybe someone you saw at a meeting. Is there anyone who, who else do you know that I should be talking to? So you see how I, and I almost asked it the wrong way, but it, you see how I'm, oh, by the way, all of that was the setup for this. And if we never get this far, it's still good. This is all good information. That's one you can take away immediately and have with your current clients. Here's a, a, a bigger breakdown. Um, for me, I really like to, um, this is from, you can have this conversation with anyone who is in any business or who might know people who are, remember, it's not ever about like the, like the person that you're talking to. It's about who do they know, okay? But here's, here is the structure that I like to teach and the, the one that I like to follow. Who do you know? You're going to describe them. I'll tell you later. You know, they're going to tell you. I I'll tell you later. I can't think of anyone. You say, that's okay. It's no big deal. You're going to come up with some memory joggers. Ask them for who else. Get their business sell. Get that comp golden nugget. And then finally, I, I didn't put it on here. I would actually ask for them to connect you. But I'm going to do it as myself. And then we're going to, we'll, we'll do a couple minutes of coaching and I'll give you some stuff for free here in a second. Okay. So uh, let's see, let me pull someone else from the, I'm going to pull someone else from the participant stack here. Sydney. See Sydney. That sometimes it pays to be first and sometimes it doesn't. Sydney, you don't have to answer. I'm just going to use your name. Sydney. Um, I, listen, we we've spent we we spent some time here together. Hopefully, you it seems like you've been you've been excited about what we've been doing here. Is this is this any of this connecting with you? And you're gonna say yeah yeah yeah, cool. Do you like it? Has this been great for you? It's been fun for you? Yeah yeah yeah, great. Cindy, who who do you know that I should be talking to? I should be connecting with. And and to give you an example of people I work with, Cindy, I work with business leaders that are looking for a speaker to come in and help people to connect their sales to their identity, just to make sell, selling fun again, to give them some techniques, but to, to help them to increase their sales. Who do you know that's a sales leader that I should be talking to? And Sydney's almost always going to say, Sydney, maybe you can, can we unmute Sydney? Just play with it. Can you play with me? 
Cindy, what, what are you probably going to say? You're probably going to say. Oh, okay. She's trying to unmute. So I, I said, who do you know? Then I described my ideal person that I would want to be connected to. And that's fine. I think Cindy might be <laughs> maybe not a place where we can talk. That's okay. Um, but she's going to say, oh, Donnie, I don't know. I, I, you know I, I can't think of anyone. Oh, Cindy, that's okay. Listen, it's no big deal. Um, maybe you know someone, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know if you go to church or maybe, you know, your kid's soccer team. Maybe you've seen people who are business owners there. Or maybe it's a place where you worked at in the past or, you know, just someone you've seen even on a, on a sales call before. But those are my kind of people, just like a, a sales leader. And Sydney's probably going to say, oh, yeah, actually, Sue, Sue Stevens is great. And instead of me saying, great, thank you, have a great day, I'm going to say, great, Sydney, who else? Because uh, once they give you one, they'll normally give you two or three. So don't stop asking. Perfect. Sydney, do you have, do you, you don't happen to have any of their business sales, do you? They're, they're like how I can get in touch with them? Great. What do you, what do you like about Sue? What made you think of her? Awesome. Sydney, before, uh, uh, thank you so much for all this. Uh, would you like, this might be a big ask, but I just don't want them to think I'm an ax murderer or something. Would you, would you be able to text Sue and tell her that I'll be giving her a call? Just tell her I'm pretty cool. And she should talk to me. Is that okay? That's exactly how I ask. I, I write it down. Right. And, and, and my, my challenge to you is, is to basically come up with a list of people that you know that, that would have contacts, potentially contacts in your world. And if they don't, it's no big deal. But if you can write that list out or come up with your referral script and then schedule a time, that would be my challenge to you. Now, for those of you who are like, oh, well, I'm going to just slip off into darkness and whatever. I'm actually about to, I'm about to throw a challenge out to you. So if you're here with me this long, I love this quote by Vince Lombardi, right? Winning is not a sometime thing. It's an all the time thing. You don't win once in a while. You don't do things right once in a while. You do them right all the time. Winning is a habit. And unfortunately, so is losing. And if your habit so far has been that you have lost at the referral game, I want to invite you into a place with myself. I'm, I'm willing to give you my book and a week's worth of free. It's called Asynchronous Coaching, where we use like a, it's like a walkie-talkie app or not a walkie, it's like a video walkie-talkie where you pose your question or you pose your practice. And then I actually coach you for a week just to get you better, get you sharp. And I, I would say you're probably going to, probably going to end up like Jack Johnson. I'll, I'll, I may tell you his story in a moment. He's the first African-American heavyweight champion of the world. And the way that he learned, um, the way that he learned to box was it was illegal. It wasn't illegal for him to fight, but it was illegal for him to receive training as an African-American in the day. So what he did was he got in <laughs> as a sparring partner and he let people beat him up until he learned and figured it out. And I've got to tell you, for you to try this, you're going to have to get beat up and it's going to suck. I told you it took me 51 times before I started receiving them, but I've, I've never looked back. I've never looked back. This is the fastest and easiest way to do business with people that love you and that you love them. And I believe that most people are leading lives of quiet desperation and they, they die with their song still inside of them. And so my challenge to you is if you want um, a week of coaching and uh, my book. I'm doing this at no cost to you. This is my way of giving to people who are, I believe, a part of the noblest profession on the face of the planet. Um, what I'll need you to do is you can text me. Uh, my number is what we saw before, right? It is, and I'll put it up here. And so if that's you, I'll interact with you for a week. We'll be friends for a week. And you'll receive my book. I'll drop it in the mail today. And I think even that itself will give you, you know, an idea for how you can interact with others in a way that feels amazing and it's effective. So there's my number. In the midst of this, guys, I want to tell you that people out there, they want to see the good guys win. You're the good guy. You're the good, you know, you're the hero. Act like it. Don't wilt under what it is that you're doing. 
And yes, you might take a few lumps in the process, but if you can commit yourself to the process of asking for and gaining referrals, um, it will be career changing. So uh, I will open it up to, uh, if anyone has any questions or anything like that, I'll be happy to, um, to answer those. And, um, and again, my offer stands for anyone who wants to be a part of that. Um, nobody else will know. It's just, it's just, it'd just be a, a you and I thing. Um, I had someone earlier say though, that, Hey, sometimes like, it feels like someone should just give me a referral and I shouldn't have to ask. And I'm just like, it's the problem. Isn't that people don't want to help you. It's like, we don't know how to help you. And so if you don't ask, it's like, Oh well, yeah, sure. I could do that. Right. It's like, we have to make people aware. And I think doing it in a way that's not, doesn't make you feel icky in the process is important, which is why, even though I gave you a good outline, I would say you probably want to recreate it in your own way. All right. Well, uh, we're going to end with Gloria Gaynor. And um, maybe next time you hear the song, instead of saying, I will survive, you're going to say, I will thrive. So go thrive. Go do it the way that only you can. And, uh, and happy selling.